Welcome to another video by Solitech Solutions. My name is Leon. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Move Face tool. It is very handy in situations where you receive either Parasolids, IGES or STEP files from somebody and you possibly want to make some changes to that model. In our case here, once we've opened the Parasolid, what we see is we have a single feature within our feature manager tree which is pretty much a dumb solid to us now I can go to direct editing if you don't have that tab available right click and you can find uh, any tabs that are not selected over here you can also go to insert face and select the move tool from the menu options now with a simple block that we have here with a few features what I'm going to do is go through each of these properties that are available to us. Within the Move Face tool, we can either offset, translate, or rotate a feature. With the rotate and translate, we can also make a copy if we wanted to. So let's firstly take a look at the rotate. I'm going to do that with this cut that we have over here. Simply select the faces that I want to rotate and what I'm going to do is simply drag this outer ring like that but what you can see is that our axis is not quite correct but what we can do is we can actually select this orb in the center and position it as well more or less where we want it or we can get quite precise but for this exercise just to demonstrate and then again rotate as we see fit let's go ahead and accept that and as easy as that we've rotated that feature now let's select the move face tool again let's take a look at translate in this instance what I'm going to do as well is create a copy from this existing boss over here so if we select that face select copy I can come down here where I've got an option to select a plane planar face or linear edge um, or reference axes for direction we can demonstrate that by selecting this face and you will see that it will project in the direction of this face and all I need to do now is specify a distance we can accept something like that and say okay and what I didn't do is I didn't select the copy option so let me go back right click and edit that feature select copy and okay and there we have two instances of that feature lastly again selecting the move face tool let's take a look at the offset option that's available simply select the face and all I need to do is specify the offset distance and, and or size rather and diameter in this case so let's assume that we wanted to make this cut smaller something like that you can flip directions and go ahead and say okay I trust that the move face tool will make your life a lot easier when working with dumb solids and I hope you found this useful for future tasks within your SolidWorks modeling. Thanks for watching.